Welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. This is my first YouTube video, so I will be doing a little first video spiel before I start the flip. Um, this channel was created with the focus of having my planners and all things stationary as the main content of this channel. And that, of course, can always shift in the future, but right now, currently, that is my intention for this channel. So, if you don't really like planners, you're not really into, you know, pen and paper, my channel is probably not for you. You probably don't really want to watch my videos. Um, and that is basically it. Oh, I do have a planning Instagram as well. It is at Magic Meets Paper which is the name of this channel, and I did it that way so that it would just be easier to find me, I guess, on both platforms, so I just wanted them to match. So I'm going to go ahead and get on with the flip. This is my Moturn A6 Lux rings, and it's in Litchi White. Another thing really quick that I wanted to say is that when I go through this video, I will be going through all of the deco and um, the inserts and functionality and stuff like that. But also when I do go through the deco and the inserts, I will be mostly just saying shops by their Instagram handle because that's how I know them. Um, I don't have like all of their websites memorized or whatever. So a lot of the times how I get to their shops is I go through their um, links in their bio so if I'm not saying a certain thing is coming from Etsy or Amazon then that means if I'm just saying like the name then that means it's probably an Instagram handle so I would check there first um, and yeah so let's get into it I'm gonna start with my like pens first so this attachable pen loop is also for Moterm and Moterm is on AliExpress you can also get their planners on Amazon but um, their newer planners and stuff like that, they're not on Amazon yet. From what I understand, it just trickles onto Amazon after they've been released. Um, so everything new will be on AliExpress. So this is where I got that from, from AliExpress, from Moterm. And it is the large and it's also in Litchi White. This dot marker I use a lot throughout my planner and I'll show you like what I use it what I use it for. This is from Let's Make It Sparkle and so is this pen. And this um, permanent marker is from Cloth and Paper and I, I keep this in my planner because I do have transparent and vellum sticky notes throughout my planner so I like to um, keep a pen that actually works on them near. And Right here, this is a, this planner belongs to card and it has my info on it, so I won't be showing the rest, but this is from Queen City Designs Co. And this is a business card from Lace and & Whimsy. And then this I made on Canva. I just printed it and laminated it, and it's just my trackers to update. And this card is also from Let's Make It Sparkle. And these uh, die cuts are from Lace and Whimsy as well. In this pocket, I do keep a lot of stickers in here um, from different shops. They're mostly dot stickers. So I have like peachy plans and I have pretty planner crafts and top paper co. And in the secretarial pocket, I do keep a lot of um, date dots because I do use undated weeklies right now. And then in this pocket, I don't keep anything in there right now. And the flyleaf comes with all of Moterm's planners and all of the Lux planners comes with the flyleaf with the extra pen loop. And then these are from these like cards. They're from Cat's Espresso Co. And the page flags are from Cloth and Paper, and then I did all the labels myself using my brother label maker from Amazon. So I just have my monthly, weekly, and daily planning routine on here. And then this is a new setup 
too, so I'm barely starting to post pictures of this setup on my Instagram. So my first little thing is just a piece of acetate. So typically I do like to keep a piece of acetate in the front of whatever acetate or vellum I have because I like to protect whatever print the vellum has or like whatever foil it has and in this case this is um, a white foil acetate from Queen City Designs Co with my Instagram handle on it magic meets paper and so yeah I just want to protect the white foil so I typically like to keep a piece of plain acetate over whatever front dashboard I have and then this is from drips and cherries on Etsy, but I don't think she's open anymore right now. I think she's currently taking a break. And then this vellum is from Sparkly Paper Co. This collage I made myself on Canva using various pictures from Pinterest. And then this is a freebie from GC Plans on Instagram. And I know it does say fluorite in paper but her her handle now is gc plans underscore and then this sagittarius vellum is from sparkly peach co these are custom so you can just have her do whatever word you want and then this jelly dash you can get from a lot of different shops now and you can even get this from amazon just spools of it yourself and cut it down and hole punch it yourself but i did get this pre-cut and pre-hole punched from annie's planner co and this is a dash from Little Magic Prints. And I didn't realize until after that the earrings are like the Libra sign. And obviously I'm a Sagittarius. Um, but this just matched like the whole vibe of this planner so well. And I really like it. It's super cute. And like with all of this stuff layered, you can't even see the earrings. So I'm keeping it in here. And these sticky notes are from Cloth and Paper. My top tab dividers are from Sparkly Peach Co. And all of these, um, I do have these throughout my planner. They're like the section covers. They are from Jasenia Printables. And you do get 95 different section covers, um, which is really cool. This colorful vellum is from Sparkly Paper Co. This inbox, it's like a thick plastic thing it's from cloth and paper and um these sticky notes this is like a page flag and this is sticky notes from cloth and paper and this vellum this would be like what i would use like this pen for this vellum sticky note is from rose colored days and then my inbox is from annie's planner printables and i do so this is like what i use for as a brain dump um i used to write future appointments on here which I don't do anymore and you'll you'll see why later on in the flip but I just do like a brain dump of stuff and then this represents like each of my sections in my planner and also my A5 so if any if I which I use my A5 as my extension planner so if I need to write something in, in my A5 but I don't typically open my A5 every single day I'll write it in here and then once I transfer it I'll mark it with this um and so it's, this just kind of replaces like a check mark. Um, and then, yeah, these are the rest of my sections in my A6. So I have an extra insert. And then this, I got this idea from somebody on Instagram who was doing a flip on, on their story. And I don't remember her name. Sorry about that. But she was using like a insert like this. And she would write down like different stores up here and when I saw that I thought this insert particularly would be really really good because it has a section over here which so I'm doing this as like I'm marking which store it would be from and then over here I'm marking once I actually buy it and this is a freebie from um, Puffin Pages Co I think and then I have an add to planner list from Peanuts Planner Co. That's kind of self-explanatory. And then this is the back cover sheet thing, back end sheet, whatever it's called, from um, just in your printables. So it does come with all 95 of the front and the back, which is really nice. 
And then this piece of foiled acetate, it was a collab from Exo Carolyn Designs and Aria's Daydream, but I, it is from Aria's Daydream because she does the actual foiling of it. And then this two pocket vinyl dash is from Cat Espresso Co. And this is from the Planner Press February dash box. And this is from Lace and Whimsy, it was a freebie. And then this is um, one of Planning with Aloe's cards. I forget what she calls them exactly, laminates. Um, my little ribbon did come off, so I just stuck it in here like that. And then this is also from that Planner Press uh, dash digital dash box. And this is from um, Drips and Cherries, which, I, like I said, she is on Etsy, but I believe she's taking a break with her shop right now. And then this is from Lace and Whimsy. It was her, I forgot what they're called. I think they're called Vines. Um, it's like a little magazine booklet type of thing with like various um artworks from different artists and i forget the name of the artist who did this but it is from lisa whimsy's shop and that's the back of it i just cut it out of the vine and then this is just from michael's i just cut it down and then i put a cloth and paper sticky note right here and then this acetate is from the style planner this is my first main divider and these dividers are custom from caffeine and paper co i think her instagram handle is sorry if i got that wrong but i'm sure a lot of you recognize these so um these cover sheets i did make them myself i i do like to have kind of like an index because i do have a lot of like different subsections in my planner so i do like to have kind of an index um, in front of each section and I did make these from a template on Canva so in my boss section um, I do have goals finance and personal and uh, yeah so I made that and then again some your printables this is another jelly dash from Annie's planner co yeah and then um, these are custom inserts from simple and trendy co so I'm going to kind of explain this in this front page, I do have four sections, personal finances, health, and professional, and I do have this as my yearly goals, so I just have some, you know, yearly goals, and then my, this next um, spread is for quarterly goals, so the, you know, each quarter is three months, and I thought that was a little bit more attainable for me than just doing, I used to do one month goals, and it got kind of overwhelming for me personally, so I kind of like breaking them up now into three month categories. So for each um, category of goals, I just put a few things that I can get done or that I could do within the quarter um, to help me achieve these goals. So they're just like a little bit, you know, broken down. And each quarter I will do I will do that. I will, I will add on. And then the back page are my monthly action steps. So each month I will write down even shorter actions that I can really um do that will help me achieve these, which will help me achieve these. I hope that makes sense. So like let me see here. I'll just do an easy one. So for one of my personal goals, I do want to read more books. So for breaking it down a little bit, I put read at least six books for pleasure for this quarter. So in three months, read six books. And for each month, I put read two books. Now, as you can see, I wrote an arrow. So that means I didn't get that done. Um, so all, all of these other ones are checked. That means I did do them or are I am doing them but this one didn't get done so I, I wrote it down again here so I will be a little bit a little bit behind I don't know if I'll get the six books done but I'm just going you know month by month um, simple action steps to help me achieve everything so yeah that's what I've been doing and 
I think I already said this, but these are customs from Simple and Trendy Co. And then these are just goal planning inserts from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And I just have a couple of these in here in case I want to break down even further goals or anything like that. So I have a few of those in here. And then this is the back end sheet. This is my finance section. This vellum is from Sparkly Paper Co. These spending rules are heavily, heavily influenced by RLE plans. I think her new Instagram handle is RLEDZN, I think. Um, but she does have a freebie with um, her spending rules on there. And I, most of these are pretty much word for word for hers. But I, I think I did tweak a couple of things. And then I also just, you know, kind of redesigned it a little bit. Um, so yeah. And then this is from cloth and paper it has like a tab and it's also a ruler and then these are uh transparent page flags from cloth and paper which would this would be used for these two the permanent marker and then these are lucy plans like they're the little i don't know what she calls them exactly but they're little mini um sticky notes and then these are also customs from Simple and Trendy Co. I used to track everything, um, every little thing that I spent, which this is essentially this, I guess the same, but it did get kind of overwhelming because I was doing that in my A5. And I, like I said, I don't open my A5 every single day. So I decided to move at least this part of my finances into my A6 because I do open it every day. And I decided to do um, categories instead so instead of tracking every single little thing which essentially this is the same but this I find this to be a little bit more attainable for me personally so I do have categories and I did leave these blank so that I could change them as I please um, so right now I'm doing planner stuff essential stuff not essential stuff and then food which I don't mean like groceries and stuff that would go under my essential essentials but I mean like takeout so um, this is where at the end of the day, I figure out, okay, like what did I spend money on today? Which category does it go under? Then I'll write it. Um, and yeah, so, and then this is my online orders. I have a couple of those in there. That's the end of my finance section. So I, like I said, I do have an A5, which is my extension planner, which I also got from Arel. And, um, a lot of my finances are mostly in that planner, but because um, I do like to keep track of my online orders, I guess daily, and then also, like I said, I I was struggling writing all of my daily spending because it was in my extension planner and not in my main planner. So I decided to move this little section of finances into my main planner. And this is my personal section. This is from Powder World. Um, and then this is from Peanuts Planner Co. And I do just have kind of like adulting tasks on here, which I got influenced by Arrow and Lindsay Scribbles to do something like this. So I just have um, flea medication for my dog when we give her a bath, oil change when I wash my car, um, when we wash the bedding, grocery shopping, replace toothbrush change my contact case, pay car registration, and pay car insurance. So the only one right now that I have like marked off is my insurance because I want to make sure I know when it's going to be due. And everything else, yeah. So there are a couple things on here that I like to know exactly which day of the month I'm doing it because like for example, my washing the bedding, I like to do that twice a month, so like every two weeks. So I do like to know which day exactly I'm doing that. So on the back, I do also have this from Peanuts Planner Co. And I am kind of marking when I'm doing a couple of these um, things. So these gray stickers are for grocery shopping, which I just started doing this. So like this month, I couldn't remember everything like for the bedding. I couldn't remember which day I did it um, in January. So I just started doing it in February, which is this like orangey dot. And then, like I said, the gray dots are for grocery shopping. And then this gray dot, which I'm using for my dot marker, it's also gray, but you, you can obviously tell the difference between the sticker and the marker. 
Um, this is for uh, my dog's flea medication. So, yeah, so I'm doing that there. And then this is another um, custom from Simple and Trendy Co. Simple and Trendy Co. is so awesome. She does amazing work really, really fast and everything. I do intend to eventually do like a custom insert video because I do have quite a few customs, um, not from many shops, just from a couple, but yeah. So um, this I printed from Canva. So I, I requested for this to be blank from Simple and Trendy Co. because and I, I know I could have asked her to put this in herself so it would look a little bit maybe more clean, I guess, but um, I wanted the freedom to be able to add things or take away things or whatever to just be able to change it um, and not have to ask for a whole new custom when everything gets changed. So I asked her to leave this blank. I made this on Canva. I had it printed on um, this front page and I just go from, you know, I have zone one, kitchen, living room, guest bath, master bedroom, master bath, and then like the office area. And I do have things labeled, so like right here it says dishes, counter, sweep, and then I do have right here a D, a W, or an M for daily, weekly, or monthly cleaning tasks, and you'll see why I have that right now. So this is a foldout. Um, so right here is my weekly tasks, and I did have to request the first half of the year here and the first, the second half of the year here because they wouldn't... I tried to make it all go this way, but then it got really, really squished. So I just had her um, do it on each part of the paper. So that's why this is blank because I, they're going to be the same tasks because it's the same year. Anyway, so I just started using this. So like obviously this first part isn't filled out. Um, but I just mark off each weekly task that I get done. And then this is the monthly so this is for the whole year and then i do look my monthly tasks and then i mark it off like i said i just started using this so i don't really have anything marked right now but you just mark it off when you get you get it done for that month and i decided not to do daily because i don't have very many daily tasks only a couple and like for an example dishes is one of my tasks daily tasks and obviously, I know when the dishes aren't getting done because they pile up. So I'm not tracking that. And then another one is like make the bed. I know when I'm not making the bed. I don't think that, that needs to be tracked. And if I do feel the need to track these things, I can always get a weekly with a, a tracker built into the weekly because I don't think I necessarily need to keep track of the whole year for that. You know, I just feel like these weekly and monthly tasks are easy to kind of like get behind on. Um, so that's why I like to keep track of when the last time I did, like, these specific tasks. Anyway, um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co., and I do keep track of my work shifts on here. Um, yeah. So, and then this is just notes for nursing school, and I have more nursing school notes on the actual schools. And then this is a study time tracker. Oh, I, these are from, um... Peanuts Planner Co. These notes pages are freebies in her Facebook group. And then this is from Emma Studies on Etsy. Um, to be honest, I haven't used this yet, but I feel like this is the simplest, one of the simplest study trackers I've seen, which I really like. I can just put the subject and then put how many, how much time I'm spending on it. So there's that. This is the back of that cover sheet and then I did so I did like I said make these myself um, on Canva using a template and at first I did only have the cover sheet and then I felt like it was missing something so I made a back sheet as well for this um, so instead of like the sections and the back sheet I just put Finn this is from the honeybee shop and this is from that planner press uh, digital box. This is from Exo Carolyn Designs. This is from Aria's Daydream. These sticky notes are from Clock and Paper. 
this sticky note it's a vellum sticky note again from rose color design or rose color days sorry and I did print on it um, so this just says I don't know if you can read it from the camera but it just says reminder stop measuring the days by degree of productivity and start experiencing experiencing them by degree of presence so I really like that and it's in front of my weekly section which I think is important because or my plan section because my plan section is where my weeklies are and that's where all of my to do's are and sometimes I get discouraged if I don't you know end up marking a lot of my to do's off but I have to remember that productivity that doesn't define my productivity. Anyway, this is also from the Honey Bee Shop. This is another, you know, the one I made uh, yearly, monthly, and weekly. I don't have any dailies in here yet. I have been toying with the idea of adding dailies, even though I'm not sure I will use them, but we'll see. So this is from Sparkly Peach Co. This is from, it's vellum, from Sparkly Paper Co. This is a freebie from Hey Planner Girl. Printed it on vellum. This is my word of the year. I made this myself on Canva. I just have, you know, the meaning and I have this cute little design that I also got from Canva, I think. Um, and this is, again, another freebie from Hey Planner Girl. It has the holidays and I just mark them off when they're, when they're done and when the day passes. And then I just have this, I believe this is from Simple and Trendy Co. And this is from, um, or that's for birthdays for the year, sorry. And then this is where I write my future dates. So like I said in my inbox, I used to write dates, like appointments and stuff like that. But now I move them all to here, future dates. This is for 2021. I do have the front and the back and this is from penis planner co i don't know if i said that and then this i did another one for 2022 just in case you know sometimes things come up you the plan at a certain date don't want to forget it so i'm just gonna write it down here and this one again just in case i had the whole back already so i just decided hey why not do the next year and so on so 2023 plus and this is again from just on your printables this is the from the planner press digital box and this is i just printed it on vellum these are monthlies from simple and trendy co um they are dated already so yeah i do have the whole year in here but I know, so I do have the whole year in here, but I like to have the future dates log in here as well because I don't, if I know a future date, I don't go in and write it um, on my actual monthly. I like to save that for, you know, right before the month is about to start. I like to do my little planning routine for the new month and that includes creating my monthly for that month and I will reference my future dates to see what I have for that month, if that makes sense. And then this is vellum from Sparkly. Sorry, I was making sure that the camera was still rolling. <laughs> um, this is from Sparkly uh, Paper Co. This uh, is washi is from Simply Gilded, and this other stuff is just stickers from a sticker book I got from Michaels. These are my weeklies that I'm using. Um, this is this week. These are from Your Paper and Lines Co. And then this is from Lucy Plans Life. Yeah. And I, I only typically keep one month's worth of weeklies in here. So these are weeks on one page on one page. So obviously there's only like a few pages in here, so it seems very short. That's the end of my plan section. This acetate is from Sparkly Paper Co. This is again another dash from the Planner Press digital dash box thing. This is another freebie from GC Plans. And then this is another one of those white foil acetates from Queen City Designs Co. And then this is from the Style Planner. This is another cutout from that vine from Lace and Whimsy. The back of that. 
And then this is from Queen City Designs Co. It's like a moon acetate. This is from the Powder World. I just, I don't even know what this is technically called, but I just added it in because I had a hole there. So I thought, why not? And then this is from the Honey Bee Shop, one of their bay boxes in the past. I forget which one. And this is my heel section. This has my health trackers and just health miscellaneous stuff. This I made on Canva. I found this quote, like, quote I really liked on, I don't know, I think it was Facebook. And I really liked it and I was like, I want to be able to have this in my planner so I can read it whenever I want. Um, and then I just added the picture behind it. It's like of a messy bed and it's, this was from I think Pinterest or something. And I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but if you pause the video, maybe you could read it. Sorry. Um, I might eventually post this on my feed as well, but I just really like the quote, and so I decided to add that. This is my trackers. This is from um, Sparkly Paper Co. And then these are from S Simple and Trendy Co. This is for February, and I do have a couple of things that I am tracking, but they're a little more personal to me, so I'm not going to show those. Um, but I do track them, um, and then on the back I do track my irritability, my energy level, and then my water tracker. And then my February gratitude is this using, this insert using, um, I think Simple and Trendy Co. as well. So every day I'll write something that I'm grateful for. And then I don't necessarily want to just show these, but I did kind of want to have... I didn't really want to cover them up because there are a couple that I'll show as an example. But anyway, so these, I'm going to talk about this first. These are my um, mood trackers from, these are freebies from Peanuts Planner Co. And I do have the whole year in here, so four months can fit on one page because it's front and back. So over here, I'll write, so if I am, if I do get anxious or stressed or frustrated or really any of these bottom ones, if I feel like there's some sort of trigger, if there's a reason or whatever, I will write it over here on the corresponding day. Um, so there are a couple times, so like right here I said that I felt stress and anxiety because of the stuff that I have to do before starting work. There was a lot of paperwork all that kind of stuff. And so that's what I wrote down on my trigger list. And I do have um, more of this kind of thing in my A5 extension as well. And I'll do a video on my A5 as well and kind of show you how I use them together. But um, so some of this info does go into my A5. So yeah, like I said, I have all the way till December. And then these um, are my headache logs, and this is another custom from Simple and Trendy Co. So I have a spot for the date, duration, pain, location, um, pain scale, light and sound, sensitivity, whether or not I take medicine, and then just like notes and stuff. So I do write these down, that way I have the info to um, take to you know my doctor. And um, I do have two different versions of this. So I did, this is what I had sketched out and Young made it for me. Um, and then I told her um, that if there's anything she wants to change, as long as the content remains the same, um, she can, you know, add her own twist to it or add her own style to it, whatever. She can put it wherever she wants to make it what she thinks looks good because, you know, she's the one who creates inserts, not me. I'm not an insert creator. Um, so this is the one she made, and I really liked both of them. Um, after using them for a couple of months, I do like this one, the one she made better. But I do like to have the option to kind of switch it up. All of the actual categories, you know, they're the same. So it's all the same info. This is my exercise log, if you can even call it that. It's a bit of a sad excuse for an exercise log. But I got this idea from Lindsay Scribbles. This... I don't remember exactly where it's from. I think it could be Simple and Trendy Co., but if it's not, then it's Peanuts Planner Co. So, yeah. And then I do also use the same style tracker to track unusual symptoms, whatever it may be. Um, so I've just been tracking that on here. 
And then this is my cycle tracker. It's fold out. It's from Simple, or no, not Simple and Trendy Co. It's from Peanuts Planner Co. It's for the whole year. And then that's that. This is from HR Handmade on Etsy. This is just my health miscellaneous stuff. Um, so I saw this somewhere, I think on Instagram, I forget where, and then I put it into Canva and made an insert out of it. And as you can see, <laughs> I did kind of drop off doing it, which because the numbers are getting higher, it's getting more difficult to catch up. But anyway, I still, I think I'm still going to try to finish it. Um, obviously it will go into March because there are not 30 days in February, so probably not a good month to start it, but whatever. So that's what I've been doing. And then I again use this to mark off when it's done. Um, skincare routine, this is a freebie also from Puff and Pages Co. I think, sorry, I'm not always the best at remembering where I get my freebies from. Um, and I don't have the products in here right now. I still need to, to write those in, but I do like the steps and stuff. And this is just something else that I'm tracking for health. And this is another type of pain log that I'm also tracking for health, for health purposes, reasons, whatever. So yeah, that's the end of my health section or heel section. This is from Drips and Cherries. This is, a, this was a freebie um, from my Lace and Whimsy order. And it was, I just had to cut off a little bit off the top and the bottom to make it fit. So it's like not exactly a six size, but I really loved it. So I decided to put it in. This is the back of that. This is a custom from um, Exo Carolyn Designs. I don't know if she still has these in her shop. I don't think she does. I'm not sure. She only had them for a little while and you could like chain. You could tell her whichever words you wanted here. But yeah, so that's from her shop. This is another freebie from GC Plans on Instagram. This is a acetate, a customizable acetate from Queen City Designs Co. This is another one of those jellies. This one's like the pale pink one or the blush one, whatever it's called, um, from Annie's Planner Co. This is my last section. Um, it's my magic section, which has my list references, and miscellaneous stuff. This is a vellum from Sparkly Paper Co. So this is my list. I have my reading list. And this is from, I think, Alibi Studio Designs or Alibi Design Studio. Sorry, I don't know the exact name of it. Um, but I really like these. And then their TV series list. And then their movie list as well. These wish list trackers were um, a custom from Your Paper and Line Co. So I had her make two different versions for me. Um, so this is like all one page, takes up the entire page. It has item, shop, price, and then if I got it. Um, and then that was, so that was for planner covers. This is for planner accessories and stationary type things. And then I also have a home one. And then this one is the other version, which is like, it's just cut, um, split into two. So this is fashion accessories, which I have jewelry and then bags right now and wallets. I don't have anything here yet. This is, these are gift ideas for my boyfriend. These are gift ideas for my family. These are printable shops. Um, Cause I, I tend to forget all of the different kinds of printable shops um, out there. So I've been writing them down now. These are ideas. Oh, and these are all um, from these pages. They're all from Peanuts Planner Co. Yeah. Um, these are ideas from other planners for my planner. Um, so I just have a couple on here. And then these are planners to de-stash that I haven't done yet, but I do want to get um, sell a couple of my planners. And then this is just planner stuff, like so stuff besides covers to de-stash. These are crystals to de-stash, um, and then crystals I want to keep. 
So these are my references. This is um, Peanut Splinter Co. Insert checklist, which I haven't updated in a while. So I did like mark off with my Tombow the ones I already had have, but like I said, I haven't updated it in a while. So I definitely have more than this. Um, these are coupon codes from other people. These are references from a boyfriend, like his sizes of his clothing and all that good stuff. These are Christmas gifts from 2020 that I wanted to keep track of because I don't want to get the same gift twice, you know, for someone. So wrote that down. Um, these were for my new divider sections whenever I switched over to these divider dividers. This is my Black Lives... Oh, and this is from... All of these other ones are from Penis Planner Co. Um, except for this is from Annie's Planner Printables. Um... And this is from Annie's Planner Printables too. These um, Black Lives Matter inserts are printables from Vienna Ortiz. I think her Instagram name is Vienna Ortiz Plans or something like that. I know she has two Instagrams and one of them was hacked. Um, but yeah. And then um, this is my miscellaneous, which this is from the Powder World. And I just keep plain paper in here um, that I usually... If I need to write, I'll just put it in the perspective section wherever it goes after, you know, I'm done listing out my stuff or whatever I need the paper for. So I just keep a lot of scrap type paper in here. This is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is paper from Paper Test Designs. Um, I have quite a few of those in here because I want to use them. I just got them, so they're not anywhere else in my planner besides here. And this is from Peanuts Planner Co. Peanuts Planner Co. Peanuts Planner Co. I think this is basically, oh no, this is from Annie's Planner Printables. And that is the end of my miscellaneous section. And then that's the back cover. And then this is another freebie from Lace and Whimsy. And this is a Foxy Fix page lifter. Now, in the back, this is where I keep, not all of my stickers, but this is where I like to keep a lot of my most used stickers. Um, so I have a lot of uh, Planner Monkey Co. in here. I have a bunch of the transparent ones. I have some other type ones. And they're mostly the minimal ones um, because I do like to use these in my weeklies and stuff like that. And then I have a couple, I think, of the itty bitty minimal ones from caffeine and paper co which i actually won these in a giveaway so that was super awesome and then this is again more planner monkey co and there's i think these are all transparent ones and these are all like the normal matte paper ones um different styles and then this is from the planner press digital box i just tucked it back here for some decoration and then this is another freebie from that I got in a lace and whimsy order but I think this is the artist from in that vine so a lot of the magazine things that I cut out of the vine this is the artist autumn Lynn art and this her business card came in the lace and whimsy order so yeah there's that and this is from the Honey Bee Shop. I think it was in a bait box. I just use it as a straight edge. And then I have a bunch of Caffeine and Paper Co. Minimal stickers. I have a bunch in there. And then I have more in he um, on this side. And then, so in the front, that's where I put a lot of my dot stickers. But back here is where I keep like most of my icon stickers and just other stickers in general. So like these are from the Honey Bee Shop. They were from babe, a Babe Box. Um, they're icons. And this was a freebie from Planner Monkey Co. Um, oh, this one's not supposed to be in this pile, but yeah. So I have those. This is supposed to be in this pile. And then I have Let's make it sparkle icons, and then I have pl Pretty Planner Crafts um, icons, and I do have another order from Pretty Planner Crafts coming, so I'm excited about those icons as well, and um, 
This was a freebie from Pretty Planner Crafts for her Black Friday sale. I don't believe, no, I don't have anything in here. Um, and that is really it. Um, oh, this, this charm is from Lil Susie Designs. I do PR for her. My coupon or PR code is Cassie20. I will try to leave it in the description if I can figure out how to do that. Um, I also don't know if I'll be linking all of these shops because, again, this is my first video, so I'm not entirely sure how to do that yet. Um, so I may not be linking shops, but that's why I said where everything was from. And of course, if you have any questions or anything like that, or if I miss something, you can always comment down below or message me on Instagram. Um, and I think that's it. I do have a couple of things back here, but it's mostly like note paper. Like I have some of the paper that the Moturn planner came with. And then I have some sparkly paper co note paper as well. If I want to just, I just love having all kinds of note paper in my planner. Um, and yeah, and I do really like that the Moturn planners, it does come with, you know, a double button and yeah that's it thank you guys so much for watching if you actually made it all the way through um like and subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more from me i do plan on filming more like i said i have my next video will probably be my um flip of my a5 because i did totally revamp my a5 extension as well um and how i'm using it and stuff like that so yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!